What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are on our way to drop off a ton of packages at the post office as you can see all those back there. Most orders ship really fast. However, there are some products that for whatever reason we're running a little bit behind getting to us to be able to ship them out and for those products some of those orders that had certain so said products that were running a little bit low on inventory and we were waiting for them to show up to ship it out. Some of that stuff is just shipping a little bit later. Everybody's gonna get their stuff though, so don't worry. Like, don't be like, oh, I ordered, you know, two weeks ago and it hasn't come in yet. Like, don't worry about it. Everything will ship out. I know that it can be kind of annoying when you have to wait for something. Trust me, I don't like having to wait. That's why we're trying to do it as fast as we can. If you're trying to compare it to how it used to be, it used to be like, really slow for certain items like some orders were taking six to eight weeks that's not gonna happen right now but I'm saying it that's what it used to take for some products on the store that were kind of like running behind at the other fulfillment center that we didn't ship out of like somebody else did it all for us that's how long some people were waiting for stuff hopefully that's a little bit better my camera is all dusty and foggy anyways if you want to enter to win our truck of the month right now we're running 20 x entries for the first time of this entire giveaway this is the first and only time for this entire giveaway that we're offering 20 x entries and there's only six days left so if you want to get entered to win that truck every one dollar is 20 entries which comes out to you every five cents is an entry absolutely crazy deal so if you want to get in every one dollar is 20 entries towards winning the truck only six days left and every single order gets cash in it link in the description below or go to lmpgear.com it has finally arrived so those of you who have been keeping up to date with the whistling diesel dually truck that we've been working on a part broke on it and this is the part that we were searching everywhere for that we finally found are you not showing anybody your axle yet technically not this is the update on that axle that reagan purchased it's looking much better she got it all sandblasted to get all the rust off now she's just giving it a basic rust only and matte black paint coat just until she can get it powder coated down the road so she can at least get that on rosine with the new lift kit coming soon if you guys saw yesterday's q a that explains why the trucks are parked back here like this the ducks who photobombed yesterday's video here's the part i'm going to be taking off this rear piece here because well the other one didn't have it on it so i'm going to be so i'm going to be getting rid of this because all we need is that big back plate and this right here and so what I'm gonna actually do is pressure wash this all down. Sorry, you can't even see it. I'm gonna pressure wash this all down as hard and as close as I can get to it. And then I'm gonna just do a basic coating of like matte black rust only and paint. Um, just cause most of this part you don't even see. It's just kind of tucked up under there. Just to get it all cleaned up so it looks a little bit better coated up. Cause of course this part is 15 years old. And then get it prepped and see if we can't get that truck buttoned up today. I'm getting very, very frustrated with trying to find this part. The part that I got in the mail, there's nothing, I'm not saying an ounce of anything bad towards the guy that sold it to me because he genuinely thought it was the right part and I genuinely thought it was the right part when he sent me a picture. So to his defense, I said, yeah, it looks like it's the right part as long as it matches up with this image that I sent him, which is a picture of that part. And I mean, it looked, it looked to be the same thing. The lugs line up, but this bracket here, these two holes have to line up for the caliper super far spread apart way too far spread apart and let me just bring it over here so it's much simpler i'll compare it to the other one that came off the dually there so you guys can see the difference see how narrow these are close together this bolt this bracket to that bracket and look at that one these ones are way more spread out than that one almost comes like straight out and these are like spread super far apart um, everything appears to be the same though. Like that's what's weird is everything else except for this. Cause look how much different those are. I mean that other one over here is upside down, but I'm just saying the spacing to run the caliper bolts through. Just too far apart. I got in touch with the guy I bought the part off of. He might send me some other stuff. This is gonna sound really dumb. I agree that it to an extent is, but I'm trying to figure out what my options are. And all my local parts, place that I've called around, they said, we won't sell you just that part. We'll only sell you the whole axle. Otherwise the rest of the axle is useless. If we can't find that part again, to sell the rest of the axle for the, for the truck. And it's not just like a part that they stock anymore. There's 
parts are discontinued a long time ago now, so they don't, they're not producing them. I called around dealerships, they all said they're discontinued, you can't get it. The part that I have here proves my theory that the one that I was gonna order online that was for like in 2010, but that also was discontinued. They refunded my money and said, oops, sorry, it turns out we actually can't get that anymore. Anyways, well this part looks identical to that, and it's very year specific. The bolts that line up on the axle are the same, lines right up onto the axle, mounts right up, no problem, That that's perfect. The problem is the spacing that I showed you on the bracket where the caliper bracket would mount to on that rear parking brake adapter assembly, which is what that is, the caliper bracket for an 04 truck does not mount up to that. However, it still mounts up to the axle and everything else would go right back on the way that it's supposed to and it shouldn't have any other interferences. So what we might do temporarily, and I know, like I said, it's gonna sound stupid to some people and to other people, they're gonna be a little more understanding and realize that I don't have a lot of options here unless I just do a full axle swap, which might be a viable option here soon, actually. But essentially, we might, for the time being, put this part on, clean it up, pressure wash it down, paint it, put the part on, and then buy a rear caliper bracket, basically the whole, all the brake hardware that mounts up to this parking brake assembly, and then just feed our brake line directly into that new caliper that's a little bit different in terms of the, the bracket mount up point. But of course, this is not going to be the forever solution. In fact, it might not be very, might not be on there very long. I just gotta be able to drive the truck because I bought this truck to make content with for the channel to grow the channel, and I can't really do that if I can't drive the truck and use the truck and work the truck and tow with the truck and all this other stuff that I had plans. We're gonna find this out. Reagan's actually sending me some stuff right now. She said, hey, I got a guy that said he can get you the part and she's inside, but she's trying to do some research to help out with that. We're trying to get this. Well, everybody, here's the part. It's drying, it's freshly coated. Like I said, we might not even use it. Reagan said that she found somebody that says they can get it. So I'm having faith in you that you can actually get it. Hopefully we can just get the confirmation that the part can be ordered and can be out on its way so we don't have to end up doing what I was trying to explain in that other clip. But what I thought about doing was a full tour video on these two trucks. So we go through a lot of trucks and usually we don't do any videos that are like thorough on the trucks and so I'm gonna do this video that's a little bit more thorough on these two trucks and show you the ins and outs of them and all that stuff especially the 7.3 since that's the truck that one of you guys can be taking home right now let's get into that right now starting on the front end of the truck of course it's got the clear aftermarket lighting everything is LED super bright super crisp and of course when we got the truck the truck had paint chips all over the hood all over the cab all over the doors basically the whole cab it just had paint chips everywhere we got the whole cab redone and then for the bed what we ended up doing was we basically, he took it and he repainted it from basically this crease, this body line, he had it masked down, and then he just did like the whole top of the bed rails basically all the way around, because it was a work truck at one point, so there was some scratches and scuffs all over it, but he got that all sanded down, repainted, all that stuff. In terms of under the truck, it does not drip a single drop of anything. The only thing that's gonna drip under here is condensation coming from your AC. Rides really good on these wheels and tires. I'm gonna show you the other set before this is over so you can see the other option that you have. These, of course, ride way nicer, make the truck feel like it has more power just because they're not so big. But of course, if you like style, like that, I mean, if style's more your thing and you're not doing quite as much farm work, uh, heavy towing, long distance driving, stuff like that, then of course that setup's fine, but you know, otherwise this is this is an excellent, excellent setup. Super clean frame, super clean body. The body never even had any rust on it in the first place when we got it. Here's the bed liner I just put in the truck. Super great texture. This is a Raptor liner, absolutely killer. It looks like a factory bed liner. That's about as close as you can get to a factory bed liner is that Raptor liner. Here's the interior of the truck. Like I said, there was some surface rust. You can see like some there's some dirt and stuff in here already, but there was some surface rust through here and it was just like chipping the paint from like your boots sliding in and out and then it started to oxidation and then rust started taking place pretty good there. It didn't like eat through the metal or anything as you can see. Like there was no integrity issues, it just needed sanded off and redone. Interior, super clean, no cracks in the dash, there's no rips in the leather on the dash. Uh, very clean, everything functions, everything works, everything 
slides in and out. Everything's just fine. There's no rips in the bench at all. Bench is in perfect, perfect condition. Everything works. Radio works. All the gauges work. Fires up on a dime. Runs phenomenal. Nothing really done under the hood. And I like that about this truck. There are some guys that are like, oh my gosh, I want this thing hot rodded out. I want a ton of horsepower, all that stuff. That's great. Um, for me, when I find them and buy them, I usually like to buy them stock. We've actually given away a handful of trucks that are more stock recently. Usually we try to do, you know, injectors, intakes, head studs, basically, I mean, just stuff like that. But we got to a point where a lot of guys just, they wanted something to do on their truck. So we started offering cash with the truck instead of putting that cash into the truck. That way they have the option because some guys don't want to build out their truck like all crazy. They just want like this, a clean, simple, reliable daily driver truck and they would rather just have five grand instead of five thousand dollars under the hood they'd rather just have five thousand bucks to just put down on a house or you know do i mean whatever i don't i don't really care what you do with it you can do whatever you want with it but we started doing that instead so i mean i mean it's just preference but this thing's stock under the hood just an intake in terms of exhaust it's a four inch straight pipe to an eight inch axle dump sounds really good truck is running on some fox shocks he's got like these little fancy accent pieces all over the uh, basically the tops of the U-bolts here where you know normally you just have some ugly rusty nuts threaded on there and then the U-bolts in the front too he's got uh, the same little fancy pieces on the ends of the U-bolts it's kind of a nice little touch one of those little things that you kind of appreciate we didn't really do a ton to this one we're gonna be doing quite a bit though to the dually once we get the rear end done so we can actually drive the truck we are actually debating between a compound setup or a second gen swap on that truck and of course there's differences pros and cons you know compounds obviously are going to be more realistic if you're going to tow with that truck which is what that truck is built for so that just makes more sense realistically um, but second gen swaps if you're not doing like a ton of towing with it which we don't do a ton of towing we do like here and there it would be totally fine for like most of your daily driving stuff like it's going to be totally fine on that truck right now it's just stock out of the hood what do you guys think compounds second gen swap with a decent single setup on there so the first gen is a 1991 and the truck i believe it was gray not this two-tone color gray but like a different color of grayish silver um, looked really good and i looked back at the previous owner's instagram not whistling diesel but the guy that built the truck i looked at his instagram and i was looking at the old pictures of the truck and stuff it's actually a really clean truck when he got it, he just wanted it to look clean in a different way, you know, more personalized. It's got a bed liner. It's got obviously that like, yeah, I don't even know how to put it. It's like an emerald green paint with that like charcoal gray two-tone, but it's almost like a purplish grayish. It's kind of weird. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it, it looks good on this truck. The pinstriping is flaking off in spots, mostly the tailgate. And then the frame on this truck is stupid clean. I mean, it's really, really clean. Exhaust is a four inch, just to a side dump. It's almost like an axle dump before the axle, so it's kind of, it's like a pre-axle axle dump. And I don't really prefer it. I'd rather just come out the back normal, which we might end up doing to it. If you've seen any of Whistling Diesel's posts or any of his stuff, you guys know what wheels these are. Um, they're the 24 by 16 specialty forge wheels. They're monsters. I don't know exactly where these come from, but he's got the aftermarket headlights in there. And I don't know if the turning signals are aftermarket or not, or the daytime lights down here, but they look a little more clear. They don't look like factory. It's almost like they intentionally fogged them. I don't know why, but it just looks different. It just doesn't look factory. They've got the bumper on here, and I don't believe this was a factory bumper. It could be wrong, unless they just did something to it, but the factory bumper on my other first gen, it's got all these holes from where all the plastics were clipped onto the bumper, unless for some reason this was some version of the truck that came with a chrome bumper that didn't have all the plastic shroud clipped all over it other than that the bumper looks really good it's polished you've got the stickers of course and then you come on the inside and most of the interior is redone so the the door panels are painted black kind of like my blue first gen this is actually kind of cool because i was going to do that to my truck but i hadn't seen one that was done like that yet and so when i got this i was like this is freaking cool because it's done the way i wanted to do mine so it's got the black painted interior and they've got like leather wrapped the entire door panel, all this is leather wrapped. You've got F-150 seats out of a, I want to say like an 09 to 14 model F-150, if I'm thinking correctly of what seats these would have been out of. Everything works, you know, when the truck's on. The dash painted, all the plastics painted, all the trim plastics painted, new headliner, okay? Some kind of like 
storage cubby underneath. She's pretty slick. Of course, I didn't mention the vinyl flooring that they have in this thing. But I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty basic, but it's nice. It's it's like a nice. They're nice subtle changes, like the seats and the painted plastics to keep everything like blacked out inside, and it goes really nicely with that green color. And under the hood, you've got your basic VE pump 12 valve engine, you know that they put in these things, and it's running a non-intercooled setup. It's got 100, I think it's 100 over injectors in it, and a different fuel pin or fuel screw, I think he said. It really helps these trucks a lot because these things, they're cool, but they've got like 120 to 150 horse from factory and they are just dogs. Like they are so slow. But these are just so much easier to modify and that is one of the biggest perks to these trucks. So in terms of both those trucks, that's pretty much the full tour. I just wanted to show you guys those a little bit more in depth and a little bit more detail of like the inside, the outside, you know, just that stuff. Um, just because there's been a lot of people wondering, you know, what's done, what's not done. Can you do like a full tour on the trucks? And that's the full tour. Covered in dust now because the shop is just super dusty. Here are the 24 inch American Force wheels that will go with that OBS Ford if you choose them. You have the option between these wheels and tires or these wheels and tires. Hey, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you want to enter to win that white OBS Ford I just showed you, go to lmpgear.com because right now, every $1 is 20 entries. We haven't offered that deal one other time in this entire giveaway until now. This is the only time we're offering 20X entries and it's the last either five or six days. I think five days left until that giveaway is over and Hey, you could be taking that truck home, plus $5,000 cash, and on top of that, every single order, regardless whether you win or not, every single order gets cash in it, along with your products, of course. So thank you guys so much. Hit the link in the description below if you want to go enter. Otherwise, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Stay tuned for more content. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.